Do you feel awesome today? Now put both of your hands up like this. One up, the other one up. And now you go on like this and raise the roof and say, I am awesome. I am awesome. Now, come on, say it louder. I am awesome because you are. Your, our hearts are so full and happy to see many more gratitude notes added to our quilt of gratitude. And you have done a tremendous job of participating, paying attention, following the rules, and that's why you are awesome. So today in Awesome Attitude Thursday, there's lots of learning ahead of us, so we want you to continue to be awesome. And we can be smart, and we can be kind, and we can be living by giving and loving all the time. So on the days when it's feeling tough, and it seems like you don't have enough Well, let's be thankful, thankful For our friends and family And grateful, grateful For the air that we breathe And appreciate everything that we have today hey. Let's be generous To anyone who has less than us It's good to be compassionate Cause ever since the day you were born Yeah, you've got a lot to be thankful for yeah, we've got a lot to be thankful for Everybody gets the land and everybody Keep them coming! Hey you, Virtual Academy students, have you sent your teacher a picture of your gratitude note? There's still time. We are doing the Quilt of Gratitude until next Tuesday, so get your Attitude of Gratitude on. This week, we have talked about wearing your mask, taking mask breaks appropriately, keeping a safe distance, and there's one more W that we need to do. Wait and keep your distance, wear a mask, and there's one more W. Which W am I missing? G'day, Waxall, Mr. Bridge here. Okay, now have you ever wondered why is everyone always telling us to wash our hands? Well, we all know about COVID and the importance of washing our hands there, but do we really, do we really know how important it is? Well, today we're gonna to talk about it and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, four weeks ago, I did a science experiment for my class. And what happened was I took three pieces of fresh bread, brand new fresh bread out of a brand new loaf of bread, now what I did was, I laid them out, without touching them, I got some plastic wrap and I laid them out on the table and without touching them and what I did was I went outside and I rubbed the, I played in the dirt, I touched my bunny, I, um, I was, uh, just ran around, I sweated and I got really dirty and what I did was I came inside, I picked up the first piece of bread and I rubbed it, rubbed it all over, rubbed my hands all over it and I put it inside a Ziploc bag and I went zip and I put it aside. Then what I did was, I went, picked up another piece of bread, and what I did was, I went, <coughs> I coughed in it. Then I went, chew, ah, chew, ah, and I sneezed and I coughed and I sneezed in it. And I did this outside when there was no one around, but I did that. And then I got that and I put it inside the plastic Ziploc bag and I zip, zipped it shut and I put it aside. My next step was a little bit different. Before I picked up the next piece of bread, I went to the, um, my bathroom and I washed my hands. I got soap and I got water and I washed them. I washed them for about a minute. I just kept on washing and washing and washing with soap to make sure it was perfectly clean. Then I went back to that piece of bread. I picked up the piece of bread, rubbed it, then put it inside the Ziploc bag, zip, and put it aside. Now, the next thing I did was I marked them all. I, I, I marked the first one, uh, dirty hands, the second one, cough and sneeze, and the third one, clean hands. I wonder what happened. This is four weeks ago. You ready to find out? Okay, here we go. Now, the first one, which had dirty hands, which I rubbed my dirty hands all over. You ready for it? It's about to pop up. This is what happened. Look at this. 
There's what is growing on this thing. There's, there's furry stuff on it. It's all white. There's all moldy bits on it. There's yellow bits on it. It's just like, it's disgusting. Anyway, that was the dirty hands after four weeks. Not very pleasant, is it? Okay, the next thing I did was the cough and sneeze one. Are we ready? Oh, close your eyes. Here it comes. Ugh, cough and sneeze. After four weeks, look at the bread. It's disgusting. This is what happened after I coughed and sneezed on it and then put it in the Ziploc bag. After four weeks, there's all types of things growing on this one. Now, a little bit different to the uh, dirty hands, but still disgusting in its own right. That leaves us with the clean hands, the bread with the clean hands. Now, I wonder what's going to happen here. You ready? Here we go. After four weeks, I'm touching this bread, there it is, clean hands. This is what it looks like. Still perfect. It's still perfect. What does that tell you? Can you believe it? There is such a difference. There is a huge difference there between these three bits of bread. You've got one which has been coughed and sneezed on, one that's got all this weird fluffy stuff growing all over it, which is the dirty hands, and this one, after four weeks, it still looks great. Now, it doesn't mean I want to eat it after four weeks, but still, there's nothing growing on it. So it's really telling, it really shows you the impact you can have by washing your hands. And that's what I'm trying to get across today. Now, did you know that every single time you cough or sneeze, 100,000 germs get released into the atmosphere? So imagine being in the classroom and you've got three people sneezing. That's 300,000 germs being released each time. So it's really important for us to be able to keep, our, keep those germs away from other people and keep them to ourselves by covering ourselves up. And of course, we do that with masks, don't we, to start with. Now, but today we're focusing on washing our hands. So 100,000. Ugh, germs. So think about it. If you cough, even if you cough into your hand, <laughs> and then walk over to the doorknob, open the doorknob, and then walk out. Next person walks over who's just washed their hands. They walk over, they use the same doorknob. Guess what's just happened? They've transferred those germs from, the, from your dirty hands onto the doorknob, now onto their hands. What happens if they suddenly go and rub their nose or rub their eye? they're suddenly putting it into their system and before you know it, they could be sick. So it's disgusting, isn't it? But it's the reality that we're living in and we have to be super, super careful at the moment when it comes to keeping clean and not spreading germs. So what are we gonna do about this problem? Well, the first thing, of course, is while we're at school and we're around our peers, we need to wear a mask, okay? So we're doing a pretty good job at that. That's good. And the second thing is regularly sanitize your hands. Oh, look at that. Just killing off some of those germs straight away, which is fantastic. Now, the third thing, of course, is wash your hands. Wash them. Wash them like crazy. What are you, you know, there's signs all around the school. There's signs in your classroom. There's signs in the, in the uh, bathrooms. And what, you, what it asks you to do is rinse your hands. Rinse them. Get them nice and wet. Get some soap. Soap and water. Rub your hands. This is about 20, 20, 30 seconds rubbing. Making sure you get all those germs off. Then you rinse your hands again under the water. Now, you get the paper towel, you rip the paper towel off and you dry your hands. Now what you do is, the final step is, you with that, um, with the paper towel, some paper towel, more paper towel, you get that and you turn the tap off. So therefore you're not, you've, got, you've got no spread of germs on the, um, on the tap and it's nice and clean. And guess what? Your hands are clean. And when your hands are clean, guess what's not gonna happen? That, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen, but this will. It's very telling, isn't it? Very telling. So that's Science with Mr. Bridge. Hopefully this has shown you the importance of washing hands and that uh, I, um, next time I go past in our bathrooms, I hear lots of um, water running and hands being washed and we really take it seriously because it's really important. We wanna keep everyone healthy and wax off. Okay, all the best guys. See ya. Thank you, Mr. Bridge. Wash your hands and wash them well. Stop the spread of germs and stay safe. So today, have an awesome attitude of gratitude and cleanliness and have an awesome Thursday.